schools, I and then know. we had the camping and the outdoor stuff. And yes. It's just a, a, a nature kind of day. I know, and I will have to say, when I went camping, this has been a couple of weeks ago, I, you guys, saw a snake right in front of me. Ooh. It was black and it was orange right beneath my feet. I've never had that happen before, you but know, it's all part of nature. It is. I don't mind seeing them in the garden. And when you see them in the garden, Indiana, just let it roll because they're part of it all. I know. Unfortunately, sometimes, I had to pick right? one up by the tail and kind of fling it. Oh, no. Yeah, no, I'm, I did. I it was a baby and I was really proud of myself. <laughs> well, there you go. You know, yeah. Yeah. How have you been? I have been well. I'm Good. so glad to see you. It's great of course, to see you, you help us out so much in our garden in June. We're talking uh, container plants yes. and what to do right during yes. the month of June in our gardens. Yes. Exactly. There's so much to do in the month of June. So now it's just blooming mm -hmm. and gushing and the humidity. And Randy, what'd you say? It was 1.33 inches of rain that we got. 1 .33. And so now everything's going to just really start to bloom, turn green, but you're also going to have some disease. But you want to think yeah. forward in the garden. You know, the 4th of July weekend, all those family barbecues, all the fun summer entertaining. Mm -hmm. You want to get those containers ready. Okay. And when you start, you want to be sure you pick the right container. This one is the wrong container. Oh. Why? There's no drainage hole in the bottom. There's no hole. There's now, can, no you, hole. can you, you drill can. holes? Yeah, if you get the right bit. My husband's in the studio today, Chris I Betty. Know, I saw that. And if you get the right bit for ceramics or whatever the container is, you can drill holes in the bottom. Sure. Okay, very and cool. then you want to put a little drainage in the bottom. You want to fill it with soil. But there are three tips. You want to have a star, you want to have a show, and you want to have a spiller. And that star is usually star, like a spike. Star, spiller. Yeah. The three S's. Yeah, that, that star is usually like a little spike, or you can use twigs. And then you can use this main color for your lower annual. And okay. then you want a little spiller. So when you go pick out your things at the nursery, Amber, pick out threes. You know, threes. always in threes in design. Pick out yeah. that tall center, that around, and then the spiller. And you'll be all set. And then you just want to fill with soil, get them planted in there, and you're going to be set to go. Water it in. And get those container, containers planted now for all the good summer in your okay, painting you're going to be doing. Now. It yeah. does make such a difference, doesn't yeah, it? Just it the does. feel and the vibe out there. It's just so beautiful and it inviting. Is. Now, when you're out there, I just poked myself this morning with my roses. Oh, no. I do it all the time. And Felco sent me these new fabulous gloves that you cannot get thorns Yes, through. I have rose bushes in my backyard too. And oh, sometimes it it's is just so such a pain, but they're so pretty. You guys, the most important thing about roses is um, this one has blooms, but once it's done blooming, depending on the type of rose, there's this really cool trick to prune it back. These are my fabulous Felco pruners. Prune it back to the first set of fives, five the leaves. Oh. That, isn't that the best tip? Prune it back See, to the first this, set this of would five make leaves. I'm nervous. I would think I'm cutting off and look at all these little roses. No, this because is okay. here is that node that we talk about almost every segment. That's where all the energy and the whole wide universe is. And that's where the new bud is going to come out and the new blossom is going to come. Okay. And it will encourage bloom. If you leave this on your rose bush, it will, after it blooms, it'll go to rose hip. Yes. It'll go to seed and it'll think. I'm ready for fall. I'm going to bed. So, so pruning is important. Huh, I have pruning so many in June is important. How often do I do this? Well, once something is spent, once this bloom is done, you prune. You deadhead. Right now is the excellent time to I need deadhead. Need to go home and deadhead. Yeah, when these things are starting to turn and they're finished, cut them back oh. to the nearest node, so and you, you need to deadhead. I don't think I do deadhead. that enough. Don't deadhead. I just when need that pretty, them, but and I yeah, and then that, that encourages bloom. I think it's just New one of the most growth. important things. So this weekend, you're going to be cleaning up all that debris from the cicadas that they've left. Yeah. They've cut a lot of leaves. There are probably a lot of twigs where mm -hmm. they've cut to lay their eggs in. So get out there and clean that up. If you're traveling this weekend, make sure that you collect really great garden things on your travels. This is from my trip to Washington, D.C. And this is a fabulous book on Mount Vernon's history of the gardens That's there. That's fantastic. And the history of the American gardens. These are wonderful books to collect in your yeah. library. And it gives you sort of inspiration for why inspiration. we garden. Inspiration. I love and that. And if you're doing anything fun this weekend, like pride or zubilation, make sure you use your garden. Use it like we did in alchemy in the cocktails. Yes. But maybe do it in your hair. You know, for a little black tie hair. or when I you're dressing that. up for Carrie, pride. Carrie, we've got to wrap this up already. I know. Isn't it fun? We always have so much fun. I, I can't wait for the weekend. I hope you guys all have a beautiful oh. gardening weekend. Carrie, we love you.